What's up y'all? Welcome to today's video. Today I'm out here on a creek in DFW and I'm with Caroline. She's behind the camera right now, but today for the first time ever I'm going white bass fishing, hitting up the white bass run, and they are biting y'all. Wasn't even recording. So I got a feeling me and Caroline are about to get into them. We're gonna give you some tips since this is the first time I've ever done this before. Um, not keeping them today because we gotta go to a wedding later and I don't want to clean a bunch of fish for a wedding, but keep these bad boys, make some fish tacos. But let's show y'all what we're doing so you can come out here and do the same thing. Hey. <laughs> so we're out here and uh, we're both just gonna be fishing for these white bass. She's never fished for them either, but I'm like, hey, look, there's this time of the year in the spring at the bass, the large amounts are spawning. It's probably time for the white bass to be running in creeks. So we're just out here kind of winging it. Um, show them what you're throwing, which I already caught the first one on, just testing it out. This is the super duper that I was tearing up the rainbow trout on. Um, I don't have a weight on this, I'm sorry. This was given to me by a guy at the pond, but Caroline's gonna be throwing that on um, my lose speed speed spin combo just a little ultralight like panfish um, set up here and then i'm going to be throwing something that none of y'all have seen before i have got the bfs set up this is my cast king zephyr on my dobbin sierra bfs rod and i'm gonna be throwing this little pink crankbait it's a little japanese crankbait i got out of mystery tackle box i know it catches bass i caught some in the creek behind my house um but now i'm gonna see if it catches white bass so i think we're just gonna start fishing start tearing them up and see what happens i guess y'all should be able to see that like quite a bit of a drop down here um i've got six pound test she's got on um four pound test i believe so we got to take it easy with these fish and we're getting them up, but they're not giant fish, so we should be good. But let's just start slinging around some lures, see if we can catch some fish. Watch for the trees that are hanging out. Do you see this one? That's kind of deceiving. It's like over the middle. I'm gonna have to get something else. Yeah, I already got a tie on something else that sinks. All right, y'all, I realized really quick that my uh, little crankbait wasn't gonna cut it. So I'm switching over to this crappie thumper. Just a little jig head underspin for panfish. Hopefully this will uh, get down there a little deeper. Oh, look at her go. Okay, I'm finally ready to go again. Get him, get him. There's Caroline's first one. <laughs> oh no, oh yeah, yeah. Heck yeah, first sandy, or white bass. Sandy, sand, white bass, same thing. <laughs> There's Caroline's first white bass. I guess I'm taking them all for because they do have these really sharp gill plates. I haven't really experienced that, but we don't want to risk anything today. So I'll probably just take them off with these treble hooks and stuff. Mm. See you, bud. All right, looks like you figured out the technique. Mm. <laughs> I'll die anchor. This is exciting though. I've never done this. I have confidence to come do this next year now, you know? Well, look at me. Crap. All right, y'all, the struggle is that we're so high up on the bank, I uh, didn't anticipate being this high up, and now my lures aren't sinking. So I'm gonna try this rooster tail, see if it can sink a little bit better. We'll figure it out. Ooh, that is lighter. All right, well, we've lost the super duper. So we're gonna go to a little bobber with a jig underneath it. This is like the brightest jig I had, kind of like a twin tail and grub, a little orange color. But the strategy here is kind of just to be fishing a little bit slower. So we'll get it out there, let it sit, and then we'll kind of just go for like a slow retrieve and drag it, leave it. That was a fish right there. All right, I think I've got the lure that's gonna do it. Hmm?
<laughs> well, I can see that orange grub down there, so surely they can too. All right, I think this is gonna get done. Oh yeah, that dives deeper. Oh, wait, oh. Come on. Felt like a nice one. Ooh. Caroline, can you bring him here? Caroline got one on the jig set up, wearing me out today. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh yeah, like fast. like crappie, like we used to at Long Lake. Got him on the little twin grub, little white bass. I just had a nice one, but uh, my drag was so loose, I didn't, didn't get him. I might catch a big one on this uh, crankbait. Here we go. I knew they'd like this little crankbait. All right, y'all, so I'm going through some lures. I, I, I really don't know a lot about fishing for these guys, but it seems like they like bright things that are moving, making some sound. Like they just gotta see your lure. So this guy is pretty bright, has a rattle in it as well. Um, but really what's our, what our problem is today is that since we're up here on this ledge, we're needing something that gets down in the water and stays down and we're way up here. So I have lighter lures that are small, like most small lures are lighter. So I'm using this, which dives, which is big help. And then Caroline is just fishing under the float now to keep her lure down and in place. Okay. There's a possum, I don't know if it's... It's alive, it's breathing. <laughs> You're not gonna cross it, are you? You'll go over it? He's a baby. Yeah, he's alive. Yo, there's a legit a possum and it's, it's alive. He's, he's playing possum. <laughs> he's moving. <laughs> Let's just go. Oh, we're gonna go back up that. No, nah, heck no, come on. Go for it, go for it. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so I'd say that they're not running, but they're here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Danker. Whoa, look who's coming back, huh? There, but I'm kind of scared to throw mine and get home. That's a nice one. <gasps> Crap. That was a good one. Dang, that was a good one. Oops. <coughs> yeah, baby. Feisty little fellas. got bigger problems I'm about to break this freaking crankbait off like what what do I have left I just got that freaking tree again <laughs> 